All right, we're out here, uh, out here catching some bluegill for catfish bait. Well, we got a simple rig today. Got a worm and a hook and a bobber. And we got Sam. Look what Sam just caught. Catching some nice bluegill. He's just raking them in left and right. Got a, so far, we got a, we got a whole bucket full of them. We're gonna catch as many as we can. What you got there, Sam? It's tangled. Tangled. Well, time, time for Dad to rescue this situation. Whoa! This bunch of bluegill we got today. We're gonna we're gonna use them all for bait, but we caught so many. We caught so many big ones. We're gonna fillet some up, and Teresa's is gonna cook them. <laughs> And cut off this head, he will be some good bait.
what five fish clean how much meat right there on bluegill we caught over there's not a lot to these but catch enough of them enough of them are decent size they make a good uh, they're really good eating what makes these so good I don't know they're just good I like them as good as crappie do they have a certain kind of taste or? Good. Hey guys, I'm Patrice and welcome back to our kitchen and I'm so glad to see you. John and Sam just got back um, from their fishing trip and they have caught a quite a bit of fish and had a wonderful day out there and they have brought some fish home. Um, I guess they wanted, decided, you know what, that they were really hungry for some bluegill. So we're gonna fry up some bluegill today and show you how to do it. So we have, um, here's the ingredients. We have, uh, as you can see, I have right here the bluegill, uh, John cleaned it and I put it in some milk. You might be wondering why I did that. One reason you would, uh, if you put your fish in milk, it, uh, like about 30 minutes before you cook it, it, it will take the uh, fish, the, and so um, it won't have the, the gamey taste to it. So I like to take that taste out, so I put, put it in there. One reason that the milk does that is the, the proteins in the milk uh, binds with the compounds of the the smell in the fish and it takes that 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 uh, the smell that taste right out of there so that's why you do that um, we have it sitting in milk and it's been sitting there for a little bit so it's ready to go we have one and a half cups of yellow cornmeal we have a teaspoon of all-purpose flour we have two teaspoons of seasoned salt we have a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder. So let's get started. And I have here, as you can see, I have a Ziploc bag. Now I don't have a bowl today, I just have a Ziploc bag. So we are gonna put everything in a bag. We're just gonna dump it in there. Just gonna dump that powder, whoop, all in there. to zip that up and we are just gonna it's an easy way to mix your dry ingredients just, and now we're just gonna open it and when you fry your fish you want it to be a little bit wet and we're just gonna stick it in there we're just gonna coat it with this Actually, stick a couple of pieces in there. Probably do it like that, a whole lot easier. <laughs> really easy, and just lay it out. Coat it some more. Just making sure they're nice and coated. Make 
you're zooming in, like for a few seconds on the food. I think that's good. We're back and we have our, our fish breaded and we are going to get our, get our uh, pan ready with oil in it and we're gonna start frying this. So, okay guys, I think our last batch is finally done. And we are gonna put it right here. Look how pretty that is. You get one that right here. Look at how pretty this is and meaty this is. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's really good. It's really, really tasty. You don't get all that, that, that fishy taste to it. It's really good. Come back and see us on the next video. We love you. We'll see you later. Bye, guys.